Welcome again. We're talking about new beginnings. And just to recap a little bit here, we are encouraging you to look to the future. Don't focus much on the past. The past you can't change, but your future is before you and God's calling you into a better place. One of the major factors in successfully engaging a new beginning is to have clarity and to have vision. Clarity and vision. It's one thing to have an idea. It's one thing to have some ambiguous uh, picture of maybe what you think your tomorrow, your next year might look like. But when you really get clear on what it is God's called you to do and you begin to frame that, I find that the tighter and the more clear you become on it, the more focused you are, the more energized you are, the more confidence you have to pursue something. A person that does not have clarity about their assignment is less likely to take action. A person who is not super clear on really the, the niche or the genre or the specificity of what it is that they can do today to move toward that dream, they're, they're probably going to be stagnant, sort of sitting, waiting for something to happen to them versus creating something. And so I want to encourage you as you go through this process of engaging a new beginning, you've identified your dream, you know where God's calling you in a generic sense, now your job is to really get clear. What does it look like? Uh, can you focus on one thing? And sometimes focusing on one single thing means I have to let a lot of other things go. Here's the thing, you have to say no to a lot of things so that you can say yes to the one thing that will get you in the direction of where God's calling you. You have to actually uh, say no to the, to the friend who says, hey man, can you come do this for me or help me with this? No man, I've already got an obligation during that time slot because I, I've got to stay focused here. So clarity means getting real clear on the steps, on the process that you need to be acting out on in order to accomplish that dream. Vision means to, in your mind's eye, to see the future as God has shown it to you. In other words, that dream, if that dream you have is fully accomplished, fully functioning, up and running, it's really impacting the world, what does it look like? Describe it. Write down, you know, in 2015, my ministry is going to be touching the lives of 14 children per week in a closed setting, in a very intimate setting. I'm going to be mentoring and training young men. It's going to look like their lives being changed. They're going to get on track. They're going to find what they're passionate about. You, you describe what it looks like and begin to get that in your mind. Rehearse that every day. Read it out loud every day so that you have clarity and that you have a vision for where you're going. Without vision, folks, uh, you perish. You're dying on the inside slowly. It's an it's a agonizing death. But right now, I'm encouraging you to get clarity and vision concerning your new beginning. And I believe God will energize you and will empower you to accomplish more than you have ever really considered that is possible. My name is Brian Holmes. Thanks for joining us on the session. We'll see you back here next week. Hey, I want to share a great resource with you right now concerning your new beginning. We've been talking about this for several weeks and right now we have the New Beginnings Intensive Seminar available to you for MP3 download at our website brianholmes.com. Now I'm holding in my hand a download card. If you'd like to order one of these to give to someone as a gift, you can certainly order the card and give that to them. They have a download code right here on the back. But if you want them just for yourself, your process, your new beginning, go to brianholmes.com and go to our bookstore and right there you'll find the download availability of the New Beginnings Workshop. This is going to walk you through the process of reconciling your past, awakening your dream, becoming very clear on your vision for the future and becoming activated and engaged in everything God has called you to do. This is your season. Get off the sidelines, get away from excuses and begin to engage that which God has put in your heart to do. I want you to go right now to brianholmes.com and download New Beginnings. It will change your life forever. Thank you.